name is Dana and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be um, showing you guys and walking you guys through my super quick and easy um, natural everyday makeup. So usually I try to do my makeup within like 10 minutes um, just because I'm usually rushing to somewhere and I'm also usually late. Um, so it's very important for me to have like a quick and easy makeup routine just to put myself like so I look put together. The first thing to do that I would do is to prep my lips with this Laneige lip sleeping mask. Personally, I use this more of a lip balm than like a lip sleeping mask. We'll talk more about you know, all the skincare and lip care stuff in a separate video. Um, I use a cushion. I also use Laneige. I just love Laneige. Like, I feel like everything is just amazing. But, so I use their, I think it's called the Neo, um, I think this is the matte cushion. But, um, because I, I'm from, like, Hong Kong, which is, like, a place that is, like, super hot and, like, wet. And which is why I decided I should get the matte cushion instead of the glowy cushion. The glowy one I think is a pink color, um, but basically I feel like even though this is titled as a matte cushion, um, it is actually super duper hydrating and it still makes you look like shiny like it doesn't like completely like mattify your skin and this also has like i think this is around like maybe a medium coverage so this is kind of just to cover like to balance out my skin tone um to like just have like a little like a brightening thing um so i don't look so dull and dead basically so i use this benefit goof proof brow pencil um this is like the best brow pencil i've ever used i'm trying to get really close up here so you guys can see yeah i'm really close yeah i'm really doing this uh, as you can see like i'm not very good with brows so i like to like put out like a line like there like on top because like my brows naturally kind of like go inwards and i feel like it makes me look really angry that's basically one brow done um i'm probably I'm just gonna do the same on the other side now. Do you guys ever feel like one brow is like easier or like nicer to do than the other one? Because that's how I feel about my left brow. So what I do is super easy. Like I literally just take this bling bling eye stick by Etude House or like whatever like sparkly like eye stick kind of thing that you guys might have. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna use that on my eyes and it's like super like literally the easiest thing so literally what i do is i just go like um this into the center and then i kind of just like go like this on my eyes and then i just kind of like color in like the front half and then i kind of go onto the under eye like the eye bag area sometimes if i'm feeling like um exotic or whatever i use the rare beauty nearly apricot melting blush use it as like an eyeshadow at like the outer corner of my eyes okay so what i do is i kind of just like take a little bit from like the edge so it's like this much i almost swear you guys and then i put it on to i kind of like dab it like this and then on the other side as well and that's like basically it after that i use my like brown eyeliner by heroin makeup um it's a smooth liquid eyeliner um and the tip is like this this is one of the best eyeliners that i've ever had so what i do is um do you guys see like this line that goes downwards from my eyes um, that's kind of the line that I follow when I do my eyeliner. Well, I kind of just go like... And then I kind of bring it into the outer corner of my eye. And then I kind of just color it in. So it looks kind of like this. It's like a little mini, like, wing. And then I kind of just like super quickly just go over... The inner portion of like my top eye eyelid just a little bit i don't go all the way into the corner just kind of like up until like here around and that's basically all i do for my eyeliner and i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye i was gonna say something but i forgot what i was gonna say okay never mind <laughs> 
So after eyeliner, I don't really put mascara when I'm not like doing anything special. Um, just because um, sometimes it makes me really sleepy and like feel really drowsy. Um, it's just like an extra weight on your eyelids, and then I just um, just doesn't feel great. So next, I will use the Rare Beauty Melting Blush once again. Um, and I just kind of like put some on my finger, and that would be my blush. I love blush. I think one thing that I found that wasn't the best about this product is the fact that it kind of fades throughout the day. Um, and it's probably my fault just because I don't use any setting spray or anything like that. And then I take a little bit and I put it on the tip of my nose as well. I just kind of like dab it. But the last thing, last, last thing, oh my gosh, contour just to shape out my face basically because my face is just like a flat like i'm a 2d i'm a 2d 2d thing you know so i use this too cool for school art class um contour uh, for the nose i kind of just take like the first two and kind of like mix it onto my brush and like make sure to tap out off the access this is the brush that came with the um contour set so i just kind of brush it down I am actually the worst at contour, so don't recommend you follow me or learn from me in terms of contouring because I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I just, um, I don't know. And then I would take like the two darker shades on the right side, right side of the palette and I kind of mix those two together. Here, here, some on my cheeks. Like, I have like these natural like indents on my cheeks and I kind of just follow those. But yeah, that's basically kind of like everything for my daily makeup. Um, oh wait, oh my gosh, dude, I missed the most important crucial part, which is my lipstick. <sighs> yes, this brand is Keep In Touch and the color is Rosé. Um, let me just show you what I mean when I say I love this so much. It's a gloss, but it's like super duper pigmented. And so what I do is I kind of like, I just... It smells like, like sweet berries. And it's so like smooth and moisturizing. And the fact that like I put on um, this lip sleeping mask before I put on my lipstick, it just makes the whole thing so much more like buttery and smooth. It's like... Like, it feels so good. And that's basically it for my everyday makeup. Um, I'm gonna fix my hair and then I'm going to get dressed. I'm still wearing my pajamas. Um, and it's like 2.30 p.m. So... <laughs> have any questions in the comments down below i'll be linking everything that i used in the description box um just a disclaimer like i am not a professional or like i honestly don't really know what i'm doing this is just all of like my own experiences and then me kind of like figuring out what's right for myself so i really recommend you guys to just keep experimenting with different kind of styles and looks and stuff and then you'll find something that is just like perfect for yourself so thanks for watching uh, please remember to comment subscribe like i don't know bye thanks for watching